Hello and welcome to the Fed by Farmers podcast with me, Cami Wilson. And me, Iona Money. Today's podcast, as always, brought to you in partnership with Crystalix and Animax. Thanks very much to them to their con- for their continued support of Fed by Farmers. Absolute legends. Iona, this week we have two guests on. Yes. Now household names, mm-hmm. or certainly household faces, for Will Kent faces, we will say. I've got a wee confession to make about this one. Uh, what? When I watched it back, mm-hmm. I realised what had happened. I've been we've been interviewing two Ayrshire folk who are very Ayrshire, and I've slipped into <gasps> yeah, I've slipped thick, in thick thick accent. Yeah, yeah, I've slipped into being from Ayrshire. Have you? Yeah, shame on me. <laughs> so, yeah, warning to you guys. We have the Barclays on this week. We have John and Hetty. Well, John and Heather, better known as Hetty and Beachy. Hetty and Beachy. I like you went Hetty first. That's very respectful. Quite right. So yeah, Hetty and Beachy Barclay, absolute legends. You know, if you've been at the shows with Sheep or whatever, you know them. If you've watched This Farming Life, you'll know them and mm-hmm. the boys as well. Absolute legends. We need to get the boys on. A podcast for the boys. I would love that to would do be good, that. Actually. I think I think we should. I'll need to get another mic though. I'll need to, we'll only have we don't have enough mics. We'll get another mic. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll get the boys. I on. think we should. They, they could f- not share a mic. Oh, they could actually. Of yeah. course they could. Yeah. So yeah, we might do that. That'd be, that'd be a really fun one. Mm-hmm. We had them on this week, and we won't. Well, we'll, we'll debrief after the interview. Let's just dive straight into it. You know, these podcasts are getting long, aren't they? I know they hear enough of us. Aye, let's go. Hello, and here we are, our, our famous guests this week, <laughs> <laughs> Heather and John. Do, do we like Heather and John, or is it Hetty no. and Beachy? No, Hetty and Beachy. Yeah. Hetty There's and... not many folk in me as John. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That would be right. Whenever somebody says John Bartley to me, it takes my brain a wee second to work out who they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard of it. Uh, that's actually true. And it'd be good, actually, because you're very funny with it. Why are you called Beachy? Uh, well, it goes way back to, I was 16, I think, uh, joined the Young Farmers here, Young Farmers. Went in a holly bush one night and uh, one of the boys, uh, I, don't, I could name him, I think, I, I don't think he'll mind, it was James Kerr for Aye, aye. Said, uh, he just called me Beachy and I was like, why, why? And he said, oh, well, I, I used to be about 24 stone then, like. Aye, then. aye, aye. And he just said, you, you just look like a beach whale, so. <laughs> and, it, and it stopped, like. Right? And everybody started calling me beachy. And uh, and then, I it just went from one thing to another. And then the next thing, my thought prefix for my sheep was beachy. And there we go. The rest is history. Beachy, as you beachy Beltex. Aye, Beachy uh, Beltex. So that is that a great, is that is one of the most farmer stories <laughs> ever. Aye. Aye. But and it's funny how, you know, it is funny how it sticks because uh, my, my Beltec story started a way back at Belig with John Wraith and, and George was there at the time, too, George and Margaret, John's mum and dad. And I've bet, been going about Belig for about 10 years and uh, well, we're actually going to um, Heather's gran and grandpa's, what was it? A diamond. Diamond yeah. wedding in... Was it Belial? Anniversary, yeah. Aye, lunch. anniversary lunch in Belial. And Margaret McElroy for Belig met my gran in here on Fermer Tuesday, as I spoke about again, up and down the high street. <laughs> and uh, she said, you'll be going to Nanny Neen's Golden Wedding. Mary, are you? And, and gran says, aye, aye. And, uh, and how, are you, how are you getting? She says, oh, I'm going with John. And after a wee while, she says to my gran, she says, Mary, I don't, I don't want to be cheeky, but... Who's John? <laughs> <laughs> and Grant says, Grandson John, Beachy. And she went, All oh, right. <laughs> He's been coming to my leg for about 10 years, she says, and I didn't care he was called John. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> my, grand, my grandfather was John, but obviously Margaret cared that he was dead, so uh, she must have been thinking that. She was going, Gran was going with his ghost. I had uh, uh, dementia <laughs> kicking in or something. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, God. It's like, I better not say nothing. Fuck, <laughs> aye. Uh, so, uh, aye. So, that's, uh, I did, to be fair, I'm beachy to everybody. The uh, boy, absolutely. The boys call me beachy day, like, uh, yeah. Aye. Rather than dad. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> like, Archie, Archie goes, beachy. <laughs> Hey, beachy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks in from school, and that's what he's saying, you know, but I have to be in at a couple of them, like, beachy. <laughs> 
I mean, he's not just a, a group of lads, isn't he? Like aye, a group, like a aye, group, aye, he's as aye. funny when you start working. It's just like a group of mates. Aye, yeah. me or yeah. less, aye, to be honest, aye. We're here. We're here. I did laugh at times, and then... There's other times. <laughs> aye. <laughs> aye. <laughs> mates follow. Uh, mates aye, follow. Aye, aye, absolutely. Absolutely. But it just blows by, like, but aye. Uh, aye. And it'll be hard, and we'll, we'll talk a bit more. But the fact I think it is great, though. Nicknames are a great thing. Uh, did you have a nickname, Iona? Weirdly, my family used to call me Sticky, but still. Sticky. <laughs> sticky. <laughs> why? I, I have to know I why. Said, I have no idea. Right. I've uh, asked, and nobody knows. Just Sticky. Yeah. My sister still sometimes called, called something called me Stick. Stick. Yeah. yeah. Go okay. Yeah. Don't see, know I, now it's just like cami lugs. I got lugs sometimes just for the boys, but I just just cami. Nothing that exciting. No. Although funnily, Colin, who works in here doing the embroidery side of things as well, yeah, his nickname is still most a lot. Most of the boys call him Melon. Melon. <laughs> Melon. And that is because and this is how amazing nicknames are. <laughs> Back when he was, and I used to play lawn bowls as well. Actually, for a brief spell. Back when we played lawn bowls when we were about thirteen or fourteen at high school. Weird thing to be into. It was just a wee group of us did it. It was weird. That is weird. Uh, yeah, but he got these tailor made. They started doing coloured balls. Right. And he got yellow ones. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and all the nickname, the whole school called him Melon because <laughs> some, some old boy shouted, Hey, son, where'd you get them melons? <laughs> <laughs> so his nickname became Melon Boy. Brilliant. <laughs> and, and, and that is. 20 years ago. Uh, wow. Uh, and it's, it's still, still stuck. Still, uh, <laughs> it's still mailing yeah. that. Well, that's how it sticks. Like it, that's... Nicknames would be good. If you have some good nicknames and some reasons for it. I saw an Aussie radio show doing this. Oh, uh, okay. Ones like, uh, oh, we call our mate the Sniper's Nightmare. Right. <laughs> because he's got one leg short and the other. <laughs> <laughs> he teaches Bobbin all the time. Oh, <laughs> uh, so I do send this in some of your nicknames. Um, but of course, you guys, everybody in Ayrshire knows you. I, th I think it'd be amazed if there's not a farmer in Ayrshire that doesn't know you. And, and perhaps most of Scotland, uh, certainly in the sheep sector. But you're now quite big names because of this farming life. How, how's that been? Hey, it's been really good, actually. Amazing, though, because it doesn't matter where you actually go. Um, the number of people that uh, maybe recognise you or you kind of see them mm -hmm. taking a second look at you or yeah. you know I was actually Christmas shopping last Friday in Glasgow I was in John Lewis and somebody stopped me and said are you in this farming life were you in this farming life <laughs> oh your boys were just amazing I'm like, oh, thanks. and then I was actually out at Brayhead after it and this lady stopped me again and she said it's really? just amazing we were in holiday in Centre Parks so there's loads of different it was, it was unreal it was, you know it was really? obviously it was, it was on, on at then. that time you know, aye aye very current but, you know, aye, it was so, unreal. but the that number of people and a lot of people would ask you you know would stop and speak to you and say oh it was brilliant it was this it was that or like, you know, we're kind of walking through the sports centre quite often and the boys would be that two or three steps in front of you and you could see them looking as if, oh, recognise the boys. And then by the time they would pass John and I, would be like, that is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing though, because, you know, we were actually a football match and of all places that, you know, the ones that were standing in front of us as well. I, I broke uh -huh. so. And of course, they'd scored two goals pretty quickly. And of course, there was great excitement, fist pumping everybody, all that's about it. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the guy kind of just took a second turn round and he went, I think I'm watching you in BBC Taylor. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, it just doesn't matter where you go. Yeah. But it just goes to show you actually who's watching it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. that's the interesting fans. thing? Aye, <laughs> That up in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you know, it's obviously reaching out to a vast, wide variety of people. You, you, you hope that it does so because it's a learning thing mm -hmm. for all the people that maybe don't know farming. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's just incredible the number of people that have stopped us. It was very much so evident at centre parts up. Yeah. Um, because it was. But it does was it help? Is that, that, is that not the week that all the farmers go as well? Uh, because it's well, cheaper. there was a rake off. There was that? a lot of farmers. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> What's the story that again? It's cheaper because it's the English schools are back. Uh, <laughs> so all the Scottish farmers go. And it's it's either the week of four the Scottish October, October holiday, holiday as well. Right. Because uh, it's about fifteen hundred pound dearer to go the next week. So so you the take farmers. Them out of the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take them the week of four. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
I, I, I get sent pictures all the time for, for boys because I think uh, does Ali Neil go? Does he go to Centre Park? Aye, they were uh, there. Well, they were there actually there that weekend. No, sorry, Robbie been, Scott. Aye, well, that's the same aye, ones there. They're all together. All the, together. I think they were the weekend of four, but we, ah, there right. was a lot of Lanarkshire uh, farmers when we were there. Oh, okay, Ayrshire one stay. Aye, it was no, it was good. Like mm-hmm. it was good, but it actually looks really good. Centre Park. Well, for, it's for, mm-hmm. fun, brilliant bit. Fantastic. They do our boys. It's phenomenal. Like there's so much for them to do. And you can just leave them. Yeah, they go away and they play tennis they play you know there's loads of things for them Perfect. to do um in your chalet <clears throat> or a caravan a chalet just aye, aye. oh you're in the gather like just, chalet, yeah. a three bedroom lodge how much does that cost for a week uh, it was 1700 pound like so and that's five days for a week so mm-hmm. and, and, is, and is that your tennis all covered can no no it's all extra it's the only thing you get with that swimming but the swimming pool is amazing aye it's like a tropical center as talk about flumes, yeah. but then if you great. think about it, if they were go- if you're going abroad, oh, that wouldn't even that, cover your flight. Exactly, that's mm-hmm. the thing, you know. And we're not abroad people. Like I couldn't go and lie no. in the sun mm-hmm. and no, for a week. Like that's not me. Go and like you know, that. and the boys like to be on the go. So if they're happy, we're happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. that's how yeah. it generally works. Aye, aye. Plus, uh, James Kerr's totally ruined lying on the beach for you. Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I'm maybe slightly better now. Like, I'm actually, only 14.6 now. Can, can I just say, actually, <laughs> Beachy, when you walked in there, have you been on a diet or something? No, you, you, I You look like you've lost a bit of weight. I, I, I did. You had it after for a while? To be fair. I just not noticed. Aye, aye, no, I have, aye, but um, I've had the, I had the flu a couple of weeks ago today, which mm. maybe didn't help, but yeah, I lost a bit then today, but aye, no, I'm lighter now than I ever was. Well, it's great. It's always good. Like, I, you know, I had a sickness bug went through Lizzie and I and we all had it it's like after I'm finished it and you're all dehydrated and you've not ate for a couple of days you're always like God, I'm actually not <laughs> <laughs> no exactly <laughs> <laughs> I've seen me comment and say I could do it <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Are you really the one that does the take no, I'm just a stomach of steel. I never, I never. I think in the, all the years the boys came along and of course they go through spells, the nursery and mm-hmm. in amongst everybody and all that's about it. Well, they would always bring some home. Yeah, that's John would get always, always, always get it. Always Whereas get it. I think in the, uh, we actually calculated out in the course of the 13 years the boys have been born, I think I was ill five times. Wow. Oh my god! I just don't take. I don't I, take. I could it. have it I five times a year. No. I would say that's what? the stage that obviously with the boys are at. But I don't. I seem to obviously have to deal with, have to clean it up and deal <laughs> with. But I don't actually take it. The genetics. Touch wood. Uh, the genetics. Yeah. <laughs> Hard as nails. Aye, aye, aye. So, yeah. so, breeding. Breeding. <laughs> Crystalix Extra High Energy Feed Blocks have been providing high energy supplementation to ewes, lambs and rams in the UK since 1978. Packed full of protein, vitamins, minerals and trace elements, Crystalix Extra High Energy has been proven to increase live lamb numbers and improve lamb daily live weight gain at a cost of only 4 to 7 pence per ewe per day. To view the full Crystalix range and find your nearest stockist, visit crystalix-global.com. With this family, like obviously, that's fantastic reactions from people. You know, everyone's been really nice, uh, and as we joked, you know, they're always nice to your face. But in fairness, I, I, I don't see any reason why anybody that's been on this season, especially, like it was all pretty good. Even uh, the the guys up in the, the with the buffaloes yep. that perhaps weren't your conventional farmers. No, bloody no. interesting. Oh, oh very. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought mm-hmm. they were a great addition. Uh-huh. You know, the night that they were squeezing the rain apple juice and all that, I thought that was brilliant. Absolutely, yeah. the bees and them, like, yeah. Aye. yeah. Aye. It opens it up to show everybody, you know, self sufficient what you actually can do. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's interesting. Other things. It is, yeah. yeah, that's right. It, it, it's, it's it's fun. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, but no, so so good. Um, so it was like, no, it was a great season. Uh, and and yeah, obviously very well received. One thing I liked with you guys uh, that, and it always worries me a bit. And I've spoken about this with Cammy and Rachel is about this farm and life always trying to push the poor us thing. Great show, it's a great show for yeah. her. But they're yeah. very much they like I think like it's called like Jeopardy I think and yeah. cause a bit of drama. And because I know what they're like and you know, uh, Big Sean from Orkney told me a lot about what goes on and the way they ask you questions and lead you down. Which will be the fact that now, obviously, you're very close to your father, and we'll, we'll talk about about that. Aye, but, aye. Like, they make you mention your father the, in every the, single episode, the, and I know that that's it, it. Starts to sound like you just won't stop going on about it. Aye, but it's the guy behind the camera. No, it was just too much as far as I was concerned. Yeah. Like again, but uh, I mean, I, we never spoke about him. We spoke about him at the times that we needed to speak about him, but it was portrayed on the program that we did speak about him. I mean, it was mentioned every episode, yeah. like mm. yeah. Then, 
But and I know how it works. There's behind the camera going, John, how's it feel doing this without your dad? Aye. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you missing your dad yeah. just now? Yeah. And then you say, oh, my dad would, and it's like, oh, he's talking about his dad again, which is absolutely fine. Yeah, I know, I know. But I know I, I know exactly where you're coming from mm-hmm. because I was, we were sitting watching it because obviously when we seen it, you seen it. And uh, there was one night I turned to Heather and I went, God, they're going on about dad again. Aye. Again? Mm. Aye. <laughs> and, and, but they're just wanting you to greet on camera. Aye. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is the reality. They, they want, because that emotion is beautiful. Like, it is a nice yeah. thing. There's no doubt about it. And we all can relate to it because we've all suffered. You know, most of us have suffered some yeah. sort of loss. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I did notice when every episode it was getting mentioned. Aye. Uh, mm-hmm. I thought, yeah, that's the, yeah. That's, yeah. That's the same. And there was, there was similar things with, with other people on the show. Uh, but uh, what about your store lambs? Well, that, that went popular with folk. Aye. I think a lot of folk will be getting grand ideas. <laughs> <laughs> to, to hell with this lamb and you. Aye. <laughs> yeah. The store lambs are the store lambs. That's what we do now, Cammy. But, um... Do you do a wee line on what store lambs are? Yeah, so for anyone who, who hasn't seen This Farm and Life, uh, Beachy and H- Hetty will basically buy in a lamb that isn't finished. You know, you might yeah. buy them the now. They're dear, right enough. It's a hellish time to buy in store lambs, but they'll be 90, 100 pounds, the type that you guys are buying, and yep. you hope to turn them over and get them away for 130, 135, 140 pound, maybe the way it's yep. going. Yep. And and try and make money in between times, you know. Um, you're mostly running on grass. Mostly grass, Kami. I mean, we, we, are, we are able to do it in three and four weeks because we're buying big lambs, eh? Mm. That kind of money. Yeah, you buy the premium. Aye. Yeah. And, eh... Uh, we are turning them at that. I mean, some people I've heard some people saying how how is he turning them in yeah. that time? But I yeah. was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no no lie about it. But we're growing the stuff in the farm that we need to grow yeah. for them. Now, like and you're I regularly mean, reseeding and putting crops. Aye, in I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. under so all my barley that we grow with Italian, and I mean, you know, that's like rocket fuel. Whenever the barley's off, a four fields of Italian that just can fatten lambs in weeks, mm-hmm. like, and then four or five fields of red start with double turnips and that and it's the same so it is you know we're at a stage now we're putting them in the tunnel um we're not having anything outside now like yeah, but yeah. um but no we but it was a type of lamb we were buying i don't i don't i tend not to buy long keep lambs like that nah, but you know i think i've learned my lesson on that this year because don't be wrong we, we bought lambs at 80 pound and they were about the cheapest in the sale that day and they're still dear right enough but it was we were needing something to just to keep a landlord happy to keep grass down Spent eighty pounds. Don't be wrong. We're getting them away there at one hundred and twenty-two pounds. Some of them last week. So there's definitely a turn. Although we've yeah. had them for three months, yeah. um, or maybe more than three. Oh, well, four months. That there still will be a turn in them, but it takes you a while to get there. If yeah. you're starting yeah. away doing there, we, yeah. and, and they're never going to be a a hundred and forty pound lamb. No, yeah. that's right. Because no, they're a plain right. type of lamb. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, whereas you're buying, you like something a wee bit of Beltex oh, or a wee bit of Texel. I did. I I mean, we had we had some Beltexes actually. Maybe slightly longer keep, but we did only have them five weeks, and they were eighty pound, and mm-hmm. I got I got one hundred thirty nine for them. Aye, so I did. I so. don't even need to see them; they're cheap at that. Aye, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's, um, it's it's been yeah, it's a tough year. And is it that there's more and more people? I mean, part of the reason store lambs are so expensive must be that more and more people are realising there's a pound in it, and more and more people think, are doing it. I think that is the case. I think actually, so, yeah. aye. I think, I it think is the case. there's a few. I would say there's maybe a few more dairy boys. Mm. buying them as yep. well which is obviously just for their grass just for, and then they can get them away january and then Perfect. they want them off before yeah. then they can get grass grown yep. for silage that early silage so i noticed a couple of new ones this year that i had never heard of that had bought store lambs yeah and they trying to buy store lambs this year so it's obviously just and that makes dabble it, in it yeah it makes it more difficult for us you know the more that come in oh, absolutely mm. buy them and, and especially if it's guys that don't actually need to make money on them well that's, well, that's it the you thing. know yeah. some, some i mean I, I don't mean this in any bad way but the, some of the guys are just for grass management like yeah. you know yeah. when mm-hmm. they're there for the keep and they will make money on them they yeah. will they do, the yeah. time that they're keeping them mm-hmm. well the grass um, is free uh, aye yeah. it's exactly. grass management but uh, you know every lamb that we buy we're trying to make a pound it like game mm-hmm. because i mean i think i said that at the end in farming life you know do you, do you know an interesting thing about you guys? You're the first people ever in the history of this farm of life to make a profit. Aye, but that was just a profit on the lambs, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Oh, <laughs> don't oh, The rest of the farm made a loss. Aye. Can't wait to get the violin music started. <laughs> Aye, but I was, I, I mean, I was just trying to show, I mean, obviously that wasn't all profit, you know, you know that. Yeah, like, yeah. But I was trying to show that that's, you know, that was buying price to selling mm-hmm. price, but there was a lot in between, like, aye, you know. Aye, aye. You've, um, yeah. But I was trying to show that you know, well, it was only, I think it was 25.50 or 26.50 or something. I came to the conclusion. So, I mean, some folk might be, th- be saying there, well, it's not a lot, is it? But 
I know that's why we maybe nearly turned 2,000 lambs because it, mm-hmm. I did see the very first year I done it that it was a numbers game like, yeah. you know. Yeah. I think we made 30 pound a lamb the first year, but we only done between 800 and 1,000. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's 20, 24... Gross, f- gross profit, 30 pound. Aye. Or, yeah, so you're Aye. not taking the costs off of that. No, that's gross. No, that's gross. Have Aye. you worked out your costs? No, honey, no. No, because <laughs> you know it's staying all right. No, nah, but you know it's staying no, all right. No, it's staying all right. Aye, uh-huh. because I mean, they get a wee dose when they come home, a wee cheap mineral drench, a wee dose, grass or turnips, and then that's it. You know, yeah. it's just mm-hmm. the, the commission just after your, the... Just your time, but... Aye, and I suppose your haulage and all that day, but... Um, but it's good fun, that part of it. It is. I and love drawing it. La- I know. Draw- drawing yeah. lambs is great. I love it. We Aye. all love it. Aye. I we know it, it is. And uh, it is a fight for it. the week. So that, we did comment and say that, but it is. Well, I never get to the week. Well, I do actually at the moment because the boys are at school, so I can get to that <laughs> side of their equation. But generally, it's always, you know, Cameron and Finley are fighting out. You did it last week, so it's my turn this week. Yeah. Yeah. Because they all want to be at the weights to say it's 44 kilos ready to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Aye. is the you most know, fun part. And then you get the marker spray, the that simple thing. So I'm like, I'll chase them up. And uh, to be fair, <laughs> recently, like, they've been doing well. Like, they have, I mean, they were obviously still a good bit of keep for them because they have been heavier than we were expecting mm-hmm. the last three or four weeks. So, I well, we, we went in to draw lambs. Uh, we had a bit of da- a new bit this year, a bit of dairy ground lambs to be off by end of January. So, I just put some decent, they were good lambs before they went there, right enough. But I went around them the other day and I'm like, Jesus Christ, size these lambs. So, mm. we had a we just went and lifted the first 50 at run on the trailer and the average 49 kilos. Right. Nice. Um, so See, that was there was one week we went to, maybe three weeks ago. I we should probably have been there. Uh, in the week of four, and we were getting 50 things at 55 oh, kilos. Oh, Lord. Oh, I, we should have been there a month, probably. To be fair, like, they, get, they come to pounds at the end of the day, but I, I like... I like pence per kilo daylight. Again, well, so. that's it. We were below average. Our, our pence per head was above average, which is what really matters. Um, but your pence per kilo was below average because we were the they weren't wanting same. those we big were lambs. We were about a tenner. That week, we were about a tenner above the average pounds per head, but we were about 15 pence less than the pence per kilo. So you've, yeah. you've got to take it one way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. I like, but I like being above average pence per kilo, like, generally. Well, it's usually a marker of how good your lambs are. Well, that, that, yeah, that, that pence per kilo is really mm-hmm. the marker of yeah. how uh-huh. good the lamb is. Yeah. Yeah. And we generally are, to be fair. Mm-hmm. 10 well, to 15 uh-huh. to 20 pence. Some weeks were 30 pence above average. But that week I was disappointed, but it was because it was... But this, they came to me on money. They came Aye. to money. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you have to try and just see... Well, I mean, you've got to balance mm-hmm. it out. Well, that's it. Like, I quite often say to Lizzie, like, especially the back end of the summer, when there's still a lot of grass about that August, September mm-hmm. time, a lot of grass, and usually it comes down to cash flow right enough. But I'm like, you know, we actually need these. These lambs are handy. They're keeping tap of this grass now. Mm-hmm. So what if they go to fifty odd kilos? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get yeah. an extra. If you get an extra fight, it's free yeah, grass. No, five or a heat. That's free right. grass because yeah. you're paying for it anyway. So mm-hmm. well, aye, and it's grown like hell. If mm-hmm. I don't, it gets away from me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what do you do with it? Exactly. Yep. So, mm-hmm. so I may as well keep the lamb. And all right, the pence per kilo is not as good, but you're making more per head. Yeah. Um, but no, it's a, it's a, it's a brave game. It is. Aye, buying it the is. And, and hey, honestly, you get stung sometimes. Mm-hmm. Do you like? Mm-hmm. And I did. I think I did say that in farming life, but I don't think they put that on. But I said they don't all work out. <laughs> like, right. you've, no. got, you've got dead mm-hmm. ones, and you've got, you know, Disney. Disney always work out. But uh, there was one day in here I bought a, I bought a pen of mules, and they were good lambs. Like, but uh, just that way, I wish I'd never seen them. To be honest, yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, because they were dear. The lambs were exceptionally dear that week. But I had a feel of grass, and I needed lambs, mm-hmm. and. They were about the only thing there that was big and strong and that. And but I mean, I, I sold some in Monday there, and they were between ten and fifteen pounds more than what I paid for them. So they are no making. No, no, yeah, no. no really at that no. time you hold no. them. And, no. aye, I've yep. just, mm-hmm. I've just washed my face with them, like yeah, then. yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway. That's life, learn. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you win or you learn. Can, you win or you learn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. And uh, yeah, it's always something that fascinates me. The story. And I know a few boys that have just put away the breeding sheep and they're just doing that. Um, well, on that's a big what scale, we're doing. Obviously, we keep them separate for the pedigree side. But but, but that'll um, change, eh? These, aye. these boys are these boys are going to change. Well, it, I've not. already said that. You know, if they want to go back to um six or seven hundred yows, yeah, come the time, well, they can. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. it depends. I don't know. We'll wait. We'll wait and see in that one. Cameron's. Cameron will not be at home. Cameron will not be at him. He's, a, he's, he's going to be He's going to be an option here. Yeah. Yeah. through. And he's said um, it for so long. Has he? You know, he's, he's got always, to date now. Well, oh. you know, and I think after being on Farming Life and another thing, and uh, so many people have said to him, mm-hmm. you'll, 
that's you're so good. You'll need to take that up, take that up. Yeah. But he, he spoke, but that's what he wants to do. Do you know? Very rarely now does MD know what they want to do. Absolutely. Definitely. You know, at that age, mm-hmm. but Cameron said for so long, I want to be an auctioneer. I want to be an auctioneer, and you know, he has got the gift of the gab to do it, and he is right, actually. He's got an eye for stock too. Do you know? Mm-hmm. In a different way from Finlay, but he could pick you out that you was such and such, and that lamb, and, and see that lamb, that lamb's to that you to. And yeah. He could tell you where it was penned at lambing time. It, it, could be, it could be a blackie, man. <laughs> <laughs> that so, one there's actually half my best show. <laughs> 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 no, it's, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just go to it, Ken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ken, sheep and that, and, you know, we sell off at lambs at Lanark. Only holidays or only when they're there. And, I mean, they actually work. They, they get a job. They, they, they work out the back mm-hmm. when they're there. They don't mm-hmm. like to be in seeing the, the selling and that. And, Brian Ross and, and Archie have said to them, said to Cameron for the word go, Ken, there'll be a job here for you. Aye. Come the I time. You'd be a lot, um, man. And uh, you see the night of the Bell Tech sale, the night before the Bell Tech sale, we were sitting at the club dinner and AGM and whatnot, and Archie was there because he takes the sale and that. And later on in the night, he presented them with a gavel that oh. it had got made for him and that. Like, oh, that's nice. So, oh, that's oh, nice. that tickled him like Oh, it so. was speechless. I've never seen Cameron speechless, but he was just that, so That was the, like, the, 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 auction, the charity auction thing, was it, at that dinner? No, 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 no that was at Suffolk Club dinner. Yeah. Uh, he done it there. and uh, But no, I mean, the, the, to be honest, that gavel's been the bane of your life ever since. It's you getting, hear it. <laughs> it <laughs> gets hit off everything in the house while he's... <laughs> I mean, Archie, Archie, my furniture, I'll be a <laughs> of this gavel. And, he, you know, it sits in the kitchen behind a kind of picture. Oh, who, you know, who's this Archie's using it? No, no, no Cam, no, your camera. Oh, but you're Saint Archie, sorry. I'm Archie. Saint Archie. 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 Oh, that Archie, I saw. It was Archie Hamilton that gave him it. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, you just hear it every so often. <laughs> You know, I'm saying this, my furniture's going to be the water of this. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and he goes on and on. But I mean, that's that's only advice for Archie because mm-hmm. Archie says, sell everything, son. That's what I did when I was born. He says, get in the house and sell everything. Just go in the, the living room and sell everything. Even your mother, he says, sell everything. <laughs> <mother." laughs> they, they sell me boss. <laughs> 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 Priceless. <laughs> Priceless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's not good on uh-huh. Archie. And, and Finley, I, I, Finley, I can see being a farmer. Archie, I'm not sure. He's a wee bit different. He's he's technical. He's, he's really quite is he? nifty Aye. into the kind yep. of things. Mm-hmm. So, um, um, but Finley also says that he wants to go and drive tractors in the summer and all that. Like, so hey, well, we ain't see. It's up there. Yeah, still totally. young. And still young. Yeah. And that Aye, is exactly. the thing. If he wants to do it, well, he can do it when he's aged to do it. It'll be there. And if it's no, we'll not be far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, I'm sure. I'm sure someday. Well, oh, I'm I know. To, I would think so. Uh, I would think but so. it was uh, one thing I would say with this farming life. I did think they, might, they probably didn't focus enough on the boys. Yeah. You know, I thought they would really take that opportunity to be like, "This is the first time we've really f- like almost keep you, not keep you at it, mm-hmm. but make them the mm-hmm. primary focus yep. mm. and follow them a wee bit more." Because well, never was, actually, f- you know, that was the story yep. when, when we signed up for it. You know the. The, the kind of portrayed it as the next generation and the farm diversification. That's yeah. Mm. That's what they signed us up as. That was your kind of you know, your after niche doing, thing. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. After doing like the interview, the Zoom call, the interview, mm-hmm. the half day film, and that was what they came back and said how that we'd obviously been successful, and that was the angle they were going to be taking. Which I would have said once they started filming, and now what you have seen. It wasn't fully that. And no, it was didn't. quite yeah. big, you know, both bits mm-hmm. that we thought would have possibly been, you know, the areas they wanted to cover were quite vague. Yeah, I, yeah, and, I would agree. You know, mm-hmm. I, I mm-hmm. think you yeah, didn't go much into diversification. And actually, I mean, the last episode was probably the best one. Oh, I've, no, uh, it was yeah, the best one. Yeah. 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 It's certainly for your point of view. I mean, there was absolute yeah. belters were like, uh, if we talk about Carrie Ann with those oh, Helen cows. I mean, oh, I, mean, I, I don't think there's mm-hmm. any doubt they were, she was the star of the show. Oh, what? Um, That's phenomenal. That was phenomenal. Uh, the scenes and like, oh, I and mean, I've followed them on Facebook such and Instagram for people. years. We've kept up with them. Such a... Uh, oh, she's a like laugh. Me. She used to message all the time on Instagram. She's just a laugh. Like, she, I would yeah. really like to go to you. I said that. I said I would really like just a couple of days, just even for us all, for the boys too, just to put it all into perspective perspective yeah it's all right yeah. watching it yeah. you know and visualizing what it actually been there and seen it and saying this is it this is the you know yeah. we get in a pickup and trailer and you hit a bit of traffic heading to a sheep sale or whatever and you're cursing it but you go to go and get in the ferry i don't know if you're gonna get on tonight i know it's a totally different i know is slowly dying because yeah. of, because of that yeah yeah, yeah. like really? uh, i will like uh, 
David Henderson, who I'm, I'm friendly with for Kilpatrick Farming Arm, he yeah. messaged me the other day. He was sitting, they booked on the boat for, what say, three o'clock. Mm. Uh, he booked on the boat. No, sorry, the slaughterhouse shut at three, so it must have been one o'clock or whatever. He booked on the boat to get sheep to Paisley Slaughterhouse. And no, it wasn't even, the weather was just all right, I would mm. have said. And so would he. And they said, oh, no livestock. Uh, just See, same no taking scenario. livestock. Oh, mm-hmm. He's sitting there, he's been sitting there for an hour. Wait. Load it with sheep. Unreal. Can I get Unreal. booked in? Yeah. Can I, so, can I, we just got to take them home and yeah. wait another week and, and put them back in the field. And, well, there's no grass this time of year. No. 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 Plus, also, you're now into the heart of winter, so next week the winds could be high. Yeah. Whatever, and but it's going to be, it, well, be, you'll certainly not get them in this week. Can't can't like no. that. No. Uh, uh, no, but no, they were fantastic. Absolutely. We all go together in Glasgow. The BBC put us up in Glasgow the week before it actually came on the telly. And uh, I really had to have with Carrie Ann and Fraser and Alexander, the three of them come over. And, you know, I think they had actually just got off the plane and went, whoa, we're in Glasgow! <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's go again! Because we had one serious good night. Like, we finished up the karaoke bar and... Uh, <laughs> was that a horseshoe bar? It wasn't a horseshoe, no. No? Um, I don't know where it was. It was Stephen, one of the film crew that... Aye, Stephen, we've mentioned Aye, him on this. It's uh, twice he's I mentioned he's the man. Aye, <laughs> he, was, yeah. he was great. And he, he did a bit of karaoke. And I, uh, Gareth, well, it's always producer. the same, isn't it? It's the guy that can sing. It's like, well, we'll go into this bar. Aye. Aye. Just I want to show you yeah. something. But Aye. no, I think we walked out of there at four o'clock in the morning. It was brilliant. Uh, no, they were they were fantastic. No, so, and we'll, I've, I actually spoke to Karen and said she'll be down in Glasgow at some point soon and, sh- and, and they'll come, come on, her and Fraser. Yeah, that'll yeah, be, be good. Great. Um, we can grill them a bit about this. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated about this fish plant they well, have. Well, so was I, can't wait, to be honest, because when we we spent the night with them in Glasgow and they never ever said on anything about that, Ken, that was, when we seen it on the telly, that was the Did first time Did you not notice the words of like, cash? No. <laughs> was that not an indicator? <laughs> <laughs> One or two many vodkas by that stage, I can't you know? just remember. <laughs> 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 I mean, we told you all about it. <laughs> 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 Maybe they did. Is that reporting <laughs> well, Cammy said they'd quite a night with you. Aye, so I can imagine what you boys are like. I wouldn't be fit to keep up, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know. Um, but don't know. Uh, no, so generally speaking, with this family life, quite happy with it. Oh, great yeah. experience. Mm-hmm. Aye, yeah, great no, experience. and really happy. Like, I think you more get from it when people say to you, you're like, you know what, you, oh, I've really enjoyed watching it, and you think, oh, that's good. You, yeah, you, just you, want, yeah. you do. Yeah. You just want to hear that like, everybody's enjoyed watching it and everybody's, mm-hmm. you know, because you just don't know. Because but we were about the same. Every yeah. night at Kaboon, you're like... Yeah. Back you know, at Mid Rock, look, and you had that deep new, breath. You know, um, oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, I mean, I'll be honest, we never ever... Not once did we try and hide anything or anything like that, you know, but I, I did hear you saying about the... You know, the lame sheep that they kept showing ah, and no, everything like yeah. and you did think at times. Why use Why? that? Aye. Mm-hmm. You know? Aye. Um But that's that's their inexperience a little bit. Like, yeah. like that wouldn't be Stephen filming that. No, it wasn't. No, it no. was not because he's on it. Like I don't know the other camera folk, but I know he was on it. Yeah, because there was actually somebody noticed that one of the wee clips there was actually a, a Suffolk lamb stuck in a feeder. Now I had to go back and watch it because obviously I hadn't no, picked was, up on it. There was, but there I was a Suffolk lamb stuck in a feeder and somebody said to me was that Suffolk lamb okay after that? And of course, you know, you just don't know because they obviously filmed that not realising that there actually could have been potentially something disastrous happening. Yeah. You know, obviously lost yeah. lamb to that. They just have caught that and the way around and it's obviously just somebody else's eyes picked up and you're like, yeah. oh. To be I, fair, I, I never noticed No, that. I had to go back and watch it to find mm. out. Uh, it was one of the open-sided feeders, but I mean, if it had put its head back there, Swivel hang with just a higher down, but they're, they're obviously somebody had picked up in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that, you know, that's what happens. And is it still there? What? The lamb? No, ah. it'll probably be sell, I would think. Some size now. I think it was a tuffet lamb. I think it was ah, a tuffet lamb. I'll be a wee. Ah, yeah. sell to awesome. so like, yeah. <laughs> No, and that, that is the thing. And, and I spoke in the Cami pod and Rachel podcast about like having a farmer editing it yeah mm-hmm. yeah you know just to say cut that cut that yeah you know mm-hmm. tweak it up a bit it's funny you say that because obviously like the the second and third people that are watching it see two or three things about like the show that live scott i think if you know see trying to explain to them like friday night was the pedigree side and then the saturday was the fat lambs they grouped everything together everything Aye. came as a winner and you're like no this was this and that was that so how could they have been third in that class but 
what about that? And I was, yeah. they just, but they just have no concept of what showing is mm -hmm. in itself, never mm -hmm. mind anything else. So I think we came over it about four times on the phone. If it wasn't the camera crew and the edit, then it went to the head edit and they come back and they were like, so that doesn't make sense, that? And I'm like, oh, Lord, hard work and like it just... But that's because they don't know what they're actually editing. Mm -hmm. They're just watching anything. Aye, well, the team, the team further back, don't know that's the thing. You know, I mean, the boys stuff up you that about them. Uh, I think it was when we were getting a ready for your show, and Michelle, the girl on the, the <laughs> camera at that point, says to me, "Hey, John, is this?" The boys stuff like you. Yeah. I was like Michelle. I I, I was just a bit by her. I was like Michelle. <laughs> I says for the hundred and fifty eighth time, the day I it's the boys stuff like you. As you guys join, I know, I know. It's it's for the edit team. They don't know, and I'm like right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know, there's all that one stuff like you. The whole six months we spoke about. But you and she, you're and she asked me again. Is, so, so is this the boys stuff like you? I'm like, aye. <laughs> <laughs> and they asked you the Haley Showtime prep too, and you went, well, funnily enough. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. anyway. And, but yeah. the, the Highland show was absolutely brilliant. Oh, it um, was. Oh, the Highland the, show could have worked out better for <laughs> for us, like because uh, you know it was a it was a great finale. But even the boys with a wee bit of rivalry. Oh, uh, I know, exactly. We we you. Uh, and, and I don't know. Yeah. Like, you some really got a chance to shine. Some that, folks seen that object that went flying, you know. But some folk didn't pick up on this object that went flying because obviously, like somebody had. Yattered to each other and they didn't like it, so whatever they had in the hand, they just threw. I think mm -hmm. it was a sponge, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's just quite wee. But this thing just went flying. Was like, ah, it was actually, it was actually that flew. That says, I do, I do. Didn't like what they were saying to him. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> nah, it's class, like anyway. it was. Uh, but no, it was a good episode to finish on because it just rounded the day up with mm -hmm. Finley winning the young handlers. Mm -hmm. and, aye, no, it was great. It was, it was great. Couldn't have been better. Uh, oh, but yeah, of course. What a bloody big thing to win. Mm. Is it once you've won that, you're out? The overall one. So obviously Finlay oh, won, won so you can keep going with the sheep one. But then oh, once you win the overall yeah. win the oh, one against the cattle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Against so he, he could do it again next year, right? Right, good. Mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And and what's I mean, we should really talk about when we touched on the farm diversification. Mm -hmm. Sheep shacks. Yep. Yes. What's happening with that? Oh, what is it? I know. Well, so we've got three holiday pods um, with hot tubs, each individually hot tubs. Uh, phenomenal. Great. It's actually one of the best things I think we've ever done. Have you seen a big increase after this farming life? Weirdly, yes. Have like, you? Uh -huh, you know, they obviously showed a clip the well, first night they spoke about the sheep shacks. Mm -hmm. There was a couple. And then after, the, obviously, the big one they did, which was the last episode of the Highland Show, it's amazing the number of people that have contacted or booked or what you know. Aye, it's fantastic. Oh, that's this great. New Year, like, but saying that last Christmas, we kind of put our prices up because we didn't really want on the Christmas and New Year, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It was kind of time for us to have a break day, mm -hmm. and we've done the same this time, but we've made the over Christmas. But as of the 27th, I think we start, I think mm -hmm. between the 27th and the 3rd, we've eight, eight different. Couples well, coming in like, uh -huh. and they're at a higher price, so um, I and it's still, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. it, and I don't know, you into those things? Do you what? ever go to a wee lodge? I have been in the past, yeah, but I think it's, I think, I don't know how you find it, but I would say it's more targeted people that are in the cities. Oh, yeah, oh, very definitely. much so. Because yeah. see a lot True. of the people that come, very much see so. on a Friday night, they come, uh -huh. they park up. And their car will never, never move. move for the whole weekend. Not really? Close. Because all they want to do is just down tools, relax, yeah. get in the hot tub. It, yeah. wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that many if we didn't have the hot tubs. I mean, they'd oh, they are 90% of the people, that's why they come. Really? I have heard that with doing yeah. these things if, uh, uh, mm -hmm. that folk have said to me. Maybe it was you that said to me that you spoke to somebody and they said it was, it's worth the extra money because yeah. it yeah. makes mm -hmm. you... Yeah, it one thing folk will, when they search on Airbnb, Aye. they'll click that. That's right, like very much so. Yeah. I think it was me actually, Carmen, because I mean, at the time when we went about it, it was a, it was a massive investment. Mm -hmm. and, I was, and yours you are quite know, fancy. Are they wood burners or no, diesel? No, they're diesel, diesel. tubs. We haven't bought them for Finland, but they're absolutely brilliant things. Um, Huge. I've got to admit, mm -hmm. I, but... Say, I mean, they will all be saving, saving us a lot of money in new. For, I mean, they only use about half a litre a day, a diesel, red right, diesel. Aye, aye, aye. So, so that's, like, that's about 50 pence. 50 now. pence or whatever, like, you know, in comparison to electricity, I think they're five or six or eight pound to run a day, they knew the electricity one. So, um, but no, I, I had spoke to somebody that had, had put three lodges in or three pods in or whatever, 
and had we done the route we just won with a hot tub but that's what I was going to do because mm-hmm. it was it was a money thing like mm-hmm. another two was another 16 grand or whatever like ah, getting yeah. and I was like mm-hmm. And at that um, point, I bet it's hard it's, to imagine that you're going to get that right. many people Aye. coming yeah. as well. Yeah. Thinking, I'll put all this money in here. And, woo, woo, and that was before you realised how easy Stowe Lambs was. <laughs> 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 I, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but I was, it was actually my accountant totally advised me against, she says, just go full pelt. It's and, a no-brainer. Oh, because really? she says, I, I know somebody that's done it and their, their, their pod with the hot tub was the only one that was booked for six months. Until yeah. they put the other yeah. two hot tubs in. Mm. Yeah. So yep. they, they were only getting one pod away Aye. because of the hot tub. And the other mm. two were sitting. Yeah. Tremendous. And what are so, they generally going for a night? Uh, we're £130 a night. Yep. And that sleeps up to four, like. Right, okay. And that's oh, where that's, the hot tub People, that. Well, yeah. to be fair, a lot of people come to us and say, you know, you're quite cheap. I would say so. But, <sighs> you know, that way we're busy. We're through every weekend. Yeah. 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 There's no point in having an expensive pod sitting empty. Well, no, that's exactly. Yeah. And you know, it's a wee bit like that because somebody had said, oh, I'll get more up. Do you know, do put another three. But then it's the same old scenario. We are three fully booked and busy. Yeah. We you could be six and just three of them booked and the other three Four are booked. sit. You know? yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. thing you need staff because yeah. you're well, so that, many. Yeah. That's exactly, Cammy. And, and I would need staff between water pressure for filling hot tubs because we fill the hot tub after every guest, empty it and fill it. So it's clean water that's going in it. Yeah. But we can do that because obviously we can turn it, them round. Is there ever, uh, you're talking about clean water going in it, is there ever any dirty water? Oh my oh, God. Oh, there's some... Talk to me. <laughs> have, some I have, stories. I have seen a couple of Snapchats so, today, but uh, tell me a story. Most foragers don't supply sheep and cattle with enough cobalt, copper, iodine and selenium, critical to digestion, immunity, reproduction and growth. When it comes to supplementation, there's a danger of under or oversupply. But when bolusing with Animax Tracure, you can be sure every animal has enough for up to six months in one single application. Animax. Giving what it takes. What the fuck doing these oh, well, lodges? Some, some, I don't know, what the fuck doing these lodges? I've got no idea, look at one. Some, uh, <laughs> I think some, you know, you get girls and boys coming with red or green hair or whatever, that's bad for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I take it, the colour comes out and it, it just the comes the water. Oh, just like, there was one day I, I opened the lid after <laughs> these folk had went away and it was like, you know, you remember grot bags where cauldron with all the green... It just looked like this one point at clean. Really? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Uh, uh, for anyone that missed Beachy's thick accent there, he was saying it looks like the swan <laughs> pond at uh, Colleen Castle, uh, which is very funny, just your grime. And, uh, but oh, we've had some. There, there was one morning I went up uh, one Sunday morning, the people were going out, and the tub was making a terrible noise, and I'm like, what am I trying here? So I'm, like, I'm, I'm in about all the, the, the back here and about all the. Uh, stuff and I could see the temperature on the boiler was fluctuating away up to 44 degrees then it was dropping away down to 33 mm. and I'm like there's some it's not going to flow of water or something so I looked in the pump and I could see something bobbing about in the pump it's got a clear lid on it so I shut the hot tub down opened the lid and I pulled out a bikini top right <laughs> so that was fine I says uh, I'll put it all back together I got it gone again and it was still being the exact same and I'm like my god what is wrong with us so <laughs> phone uh, there's an engineer for them in Britain and uh, he says I think it's maybe been running too long with that bikini top mm. in it okay it's probably an at the pump so I think you better order a pump so I phoned Finland and got a pump order <laughs> but they said it would be a couple of weeks mm-hmm. at the time and I was like oh my god there's folk coming mm. into this ah. on Wednesday I need that sorted so I go to the hot tubs through a company called Bulgownie Limited. They're up at uh, Feinstein Industrial Estate. And uh, so I phoned them and explained everything about it. And the guy says, listen, we've a pump in the shelf. I'll get it sent down to you overnight delivery and you'll get it in the morning. But 10 minutes later, he phoned me back and he says, he says I've been thinking about this. <laughs> and he says, your, your tub's not going to flow. There's stum- something still jamming it. So he says, there's the two outlets in the bottom of the tub where obviously it soup the bikini tap in. <laughs> comes to a teepee. That's her lassie. Aye. <laughs> comes to, especially she's listening. <laughs> comes to a teepee. And then it comes out the teepee into the pump. Uh-huh. One pipe. Is a teepee part of the bikini or is that part of the hot tub? No, part of the hot tub. <laughs> right? So the guy says to me, he says, take all the clips off the three hoses that go into the teepee. He says, I guarantee you there's something stuck in there. 
Well, it was the bikini bottoms. Oh, the rascal. <laughs> <laughs> the rascal. <laughs> <laughs> so I got, I got them fished out. In fact, I couldn't get them fished out. I had to get my joiner, uh, Brian, up to do it with. And we had to modify, a, a, you know, the kebab skewers that you put chicken on in them? Oh, yeah. We had to modify one of them. Put a wee hook, put on, a wee hook on it. And get a wee in to get fished out. We're fishing out this wee teeny weeny polka dot bikini bay. Oh, and yeah. when they fit the heather on it, we put it on it. Chicken? <laughs> And I put it all back together, and away it went. The pump never, there was nothing wrong with it. So in a couple of weeks, I finished up with two extra pumps. But anyway, I've got it. And a new bikini. (laughs) (laughs) So I've got the pumps on the shelf now. um, The handy. So I, and then there was a morning. And and I think think that fact that you you found that bikini in there is exactly why you have to change the water. Absolutely. Exactly. I know. I know. uh There's no absolute doubt about that. (laughs) Um, and, and, it, and it's it, it, although you have a, it's quite private. Like it is pretty good, but it's not that private. No, like like you have a wall, two sides. Yeah. So each pod can't see the other. Hot right. And no. then you have a beautiful view out to Ayrshire and surrounding. Yeah. Right? You can see right to the sea from yours. Is that no, right? No, no, so you can't see no, the sea, but ro- the, the rolling hills mm. anyway down, um, down that way. By sh- but it's she not that private. If somebody's she walking by. She had bikini, so no. she obviously. Expose herself right to the pod, you know, Aye. when he fence. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, not just that. If somebody happened to be walking past, I was going to be driving by. Like, Aye, cause the, 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 front, the fronts are open, like, yeah, you know, yeah. so they can look out to the view while they're in the hot tub. But anyway, yeah. there you go. That was one. And believe it or not, about four months later, I went up one morning and the hot tub was making the same noise. And I was like, oh, I can't what's wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, it in five it was, I sorted it in five minutes because it was only the bikini tart. <laughs> and, it, and it just came out the pump and that was any it, like, you know, but um Jink these poor drink these poor folk are like, ah, oh, just be nice just to sit my tap off and they sit the bikini doing next thing it's <laughs> no, <laughs> no, oh, no. No. <laughs> They know what they're doing. But oh hey, to be fair, you see it all, but um touch wood, everything's no, Everything's been pretty decent, like Ken. We've had, aye, yeah, a lot of respect, like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you worry about that, you know that mm-hmm. somebody comes and. and wreck, well, it is. Like, if you, it, you do, you do worry about that, and then I suppose you know you do worry because obviously it's all goes in reviews. It's like everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, trip because, trip all, that. Advice, you know, yeah. all these things like. You know, I, if I'm booking somewhere, I look and see oh, yeah. what the review is. So you always worry about you know you putting your review on what because an Airbnb it works that I can review them and you would review mm. the sheep shacks. But until we each have done, you don't get to see what the other has wrote. See, I, uh, so, that's like that old game uh, with the golden balls where it's steal or swap. Yes, oh, that, yeah. So you have to trust the other person to be yeah. nice to yeah. you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so, so you just it. have to, but um, since we've been opened um, every quarter, Airbnb review you. So we've um, managed to hold on to our super host status since we opened oh, right brilliant. through, which means... Obviously, five star reviews. So Brilliant. I know it's that's good, great. Uh-huh. Good. So it's that it's good satisfaction too, though, when you get a you know an odd review. I've seen me putting on um, social media and things as well, just for people to see that are maybe not on Airbnb mm-hmm. and like, oh, there's somebody else I could go. Yeah. Because it is it's satisfying when you get a really nice review like that. You know, yeah. even somebody commented um, because Cameron and Finley have checked in a couple of guests for us if we've been away, and somebody commented um, about Cameron. Saying, you know, he had to say, oh, local restaurants or the takeaway is really good. I would recommend oh. this. Or, <laughs> do you know? And it's the simple things. But so obviously because these people are coming to Down Tools, our takeaway services round about is deliver. Mm. And that's a massive thing too. Yeah. You know, Especially like, so, being in farms because yeah. quite often you'd be out of range. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, and yeah. we just say sheep shacks and... and they just phone down and they, they, they do know. deliver. They uh-huh. deliver They're spot on. Oh, sure, that's great. What you like? 45, 50 minutes to Glasgow. Aye. Uh-huh. Maybe an hour, yeah. an hour to Glasgow. Nah, so yeah. And to be fair, I mean, uh, oh, what? 60% of the folk that come up with Glasgow area. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. But then it's the but same old scenario. folk out of Mabel, eh? Uh-huh. You know? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. but the mm-hmm. same old scenario for these people to come, it's an hour to come, but it's only an hour to go home. Yeah. It doesn't matter where yeah. you're going when you're travelling to a place. Yeah, it's you're the excited. Stop, it's it's going going coming home. home. Yeah. But when we've you... had Birmingham, London, Dubai, yeah. we've had a couple uh-huh. for Dubai, and then we... We got on the ball early when we seen that the ticket allocation was out for the golf at Troon. So oh. we're fully booked for 10 days right through with them all. I hope you, like, I hope you get that bumped up. We did, die. Yeah, we did yeah. um, but I think we have a couple for New Zealand and a couple for Australia. So they're mm-hmm. obviously coming for the practice days and the old tournament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that's they'll, great. they'll never be in it because they'll be away at Troon. Well, no. yeah. 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 mm-hmm. Literally. So aye. that's going to be a good one like the in July. Like mm-hmm. it is. Yeah, very um, much so. Mm-hmm. 
So I no, it's been great. But hey, listen, it's just like everything. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. The farm, the farm needs this sort of diversification to to keep it's going. Uh-huh. Like uh-huh. Aye, uh-huh. It does, aye. Right. It no, does. it's it's, and we talk about a lot in the podcast. There's a lot of farms uh, diversifying. And funny you touched on like your dad is almost unusual these days that all he does is sheep. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. He okay, doesn't work off farm, he doesn't. Yeah, no, that, that's very um, true. Yeah, you don't have no. any pods mm-hmm. or yep. there's nothing, just shows you how much money's in blacky sheep, really. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess we're third time I've heard that joke. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> I, mean, we've, we've, I mean, we've got a wind turbine, tea, we've got solar panel. Okay, we've diversified into quite a lot, and we, sh- mm-hmm. we need it all. Mm-hmm. We need mm-hmm. it all, we do need it all. Like, um, yeah, yeah. To buy more hot tubs, right? <laughs> 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 no, good times it's on that. Uh, we're at 50. One. 51. Oh, good, good. Spot on. Um, no, so it was anything else you want to I mean, We've got the pods, at sheep shacks, we've got that in there. Uh, anything else you want to cover? Mm, don't think so. Do we, really did we get enough about this farming life and that? I think yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. We've got covered the boys. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm trying to think of anything else. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to talk about or cover? No, I don't see that. I'm trying to try to think about folk listening. I'll say, why didn't you ask this? I know. Because we get a lot of questions after quite often, but. We should maybe start doing that before podcasts. Wait. Saying we're going to have this these people in for questions. Yeah, yeah, I get a question before yeah. yeah. we could fire a couple of yeah, yeah. We're yeah. trying to think uh-huh. of something fun like that. I could do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, i tell you one thing that would be good to ask you. Who would you like to see on the next season of This Farm in Life? We'll take it. We like nominations. Who would you like to see on it? <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would quite like to see, um, you know, maybe going back to a big dairy or something like that. I think they sh- mm. I think every season, funny, name dropping here, mm-hmm. uh, Tom Pemberton sent me a, a, a message, message back and forth now and again, and he sent me a voice note saying, like, loving the podcast. Uh, he was listening to Alan Blackwood's one and, you know, uh, great, but he was saying one thing about this farm in life. Yep. If I was in contact, they should... They should have a dairy farmer on it, right? Yeah. And, and Scotland is such big dairy country. Absolutely, mm-hmm. every season should have a dairy farm. A couple, of, yeah. a couple of year ago, they had the, the boys for Ireland. Like no, um, they have had they had the last from Sonra. Ah, they've, 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 they've had Rowan's dairies. Yep. They, they've had, they have they a dairy, have had but them. I do think it should be on every. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Like mm-hmm. you, you should, mm-hmm. if you're d- working out your diversification of, yeah. we should have a dairy farmer, a sheep farmer. Yeah. Let's just say a beef farmer as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, absolutely. And then maybe an arable farmer, but then what do you do all winter? There's nothing to film. Well, we actually <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we had a message for somebody that was. I will they applying or? Yes, they were applying. Aye, so or they, they were they had, like you know, a fruit farm up in the east the, coast. The deep earth. Aye, aye, yeah. aye. So and they they got in touch with us to see, you know, what was, what it, like? it was involved mm-hmm. and how how much time it did. I think she was really keen, but her man maybe wasn't so much, but, um, I tell you, that would be great. That actually. would be a totally yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. I, so totally totally different. Different. I say that would be really good. Like, mm-hmm. you know, uh, there's a, a fantastic, uh, family I went to. Husband was their, their surname. Apologies. I forgot the name of the, the, the farm now, which is shocking because I got a lovely bottle of cider from them, but they did the, I did it on Landward. They do the black cunts for Ribena. Right. So, but they do black cunts for Ribena. They've got, uh, hen sheds, they have a booming uh, cider business, right? Like, booming, mm-hmm. like, and the cider's amazing, and that they're, they're like a whole big warehouse kind of set up really? on farm. Incredible. Mm. Uh, they also do another fruit. Is it is it blueberries or potatoes or something? They do. Uh, that's a veg, I know, but they do something else in the site. So yeah. they have such variety there. Mm-hmm. Um, albeit they don't have a lot of livestock on the go there's something happening all yeah, year round I just yeah. thought that would be another good angle as well mm-hmm. yeah that's um, right so yeah fruit no, farm I'd like see that aye um, mm-hmm. but I do think you know uh, if they had another Ayrshire farm I think there's some cracking big dairies doing about here that they yeah. could mm-hmm. go to like um, whether you, you know you, you need to want to do it you know it's no everybody's cup of tea dairy's I totally such get a, that dairy's such a, a tricky one as well because <laughs> well, they're an very, easy target for the haters yeah, uh, yeah they are yeah. Yeah, and varying and I suppose yeah. mm-hmm. it is very much routine isn't it um, you know what happens twice a day yeah every day uh, yeah, there's maybe you, no so much well, variety that, but I think that's um, why you, you probably need to be going for folk like Rones who are going out you know yep. doing deliveries yes, right. yeah, like um, and uh, apologies um, I, f- I forgot the name of the last it's Sunrar I do apologise for that love. but you know they, what the was love. the name Love, love. 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 so they, you know they had the, the restaurant as that's well right. and, yeah. and actually 
I'm not saying it wasn't good, but there was the, the fact, you know, her, her husband would, had the issue with cancer yep. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And it is good to follow those stories because that cancer touches us all at some point. Absolutely. Um, so it was a great, mm -hmm. and you're probably right, you probably do need that wee, like the coup shed maybe. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, yeah. what about the cares that caught you to the words out of my good Because it is and about vending, yeah. to know cakes. And they're big sheep fans as well. No, uh -huh. big sheep fans. Got Hannah well. oh, on, on, on 20 oh, years to scan more, tomorrow. Oh, uh, more? Is uh, there not more? <laughs> oh, pass. Like, I think he said 120, but yeah, he's, <laughs> it's more than last year. He's, I know. That's he's got right. the bug. He had 120 last year, I think, because he got the tips for me. Maybe so it is slightly more than there. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Best yeah, alarms. Uh -huh. uh, aye. So no, David. But then that's all this diversification. Do you mm -hmm. know Willie and Alison and David and Joanne have diversified from yeah. so just having a dairy farm? Yep. Yeah. To something else because it all just works together. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Each mm -hmm. other. Their story is, is yeah, they'd be good. They'd be great on it. I, mean, I don't know if they'd want to do it, but they'd be great. No, sure, maybe with the time because they're just busy, busy, busy. busy. Check, out, check out some of the bacon, that's really good. I can see that. <laughs> of course, I actually, I actually <laughs> totally forgot you up there. There we go. I totally <laughs> forgot you up there. Head is the baker. <laughs> oh, that'd be a nice continuation. We'd, we'd, oh, yeah. You'd be popping up again in the next season. Uh -huh. so Mummy knows so much as yesterday, certainly. No, but, um, but that's, uh, yeah, you know, I work part time at the She's season. getting into her big week this week. How many, how many desserts? Oh, hundreds. Too many oh, to say. Because they this deliver is, out for Christmas. Yes, yeah. well, uh, folk can come and collect them. So, yeah, this is a big, big week. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's all good. It's all great yeah. fun. So, I got a buzz out of it, sadly. Like, uh, yeah, this, uh -huh, do, yeah, I do. I do. I totally good. like just the. Uh, the, the getting pressure. all organised yeah. and the, the, the time and hours that are put into it. Two o'clock in the morning, I wait to work in my kitchen, huh? Absolutely. Really? So, that's great. <laughs> Some of us. <laughs> but the only thing you do, and I think that's what we say, like, and Alison will admit that herself, we shut for a fortnight as of the 23rd, the coffee shop shuts. We that's finish nice. up at lunchtime on the 24th, and then that's because she had shut for two weeks. Yeah, but So nice it gives quality breathe. family time mm. for them, yep. and it's just down tools for everybody else, yeah. do you know? So... You couldn't do that in Christmas Eve and then be back in working in between no, times. You, no, it, it keeps you going because you know. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, as yeah. much as like you're still working with the milk for the vending machine and such, like there's actually not a mass of folk going about, and it's just kind of wee bit of quality family time for them too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, right, sure, it's important. So you do, mm -hmm. you do, you uh -huh. do. But uh, no, no. As I say, I don't think there's only in particular because you you just don't know who out there maybe wants to date. Mm. But I would, you know, if I when I'm just thinking about it, I would. I, I wouldn't discourage them not to do it no. because mm -hmm. it, it was a good experience, a great experience actually. Um, and I think it's more like see if you're willing to work with them, they'll work with you. Mm -hmm. Like they mm -hmm. became part of our family. Like you know, and I always said when you know whoever it was, they come in about you'll get your lunch, you'll get your tea, you'll get what's going mm -hmm. because that's the way everybody we, else is treated when they come I was about. Say you do you know? Know? Yeah, 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 but yeah. I think. That works both ways. So actually, see when they come in at lunchtime, they would sit at the table because they knew where the cutlery drawer was. Uh, just if these come in and sit at the table, they would sit because we were all going in at lunchtime at the same time. Do you know? So they just became part of the family. Yeah, That's yeah. so nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's just. You know, I always try and time it about lunchtime if I'm going up. <laughs> <laughs> And you do get through that you do get a wee token, a monetary token for the BBC for that. For maybe, bet, is it only about fifteen hundred pounds? Yeah, fifteen hundred pounds. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, somebody said to me in the market one day, I heard you get thirty grand for doing that. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if I, I get thirty, if I get thirty yeah, grand, I'll be farming. back on it next year. I said, absolutely. Thirty, 30 grand. That's what, that was the story. Was going to be in the market. Yeah. BBC Scotland, remember? Uh -huh. yeah. Thirty grand. I was like, really? I right. says, I'll tell you right now, we get seven hundred fifty pounds when we signed up for it. And the day they were doing the redain, the, the bank transferred us another seven hundred and fifty pounds. That was it. Mm -hmm. it's like, I know I know it sounds ridiculous to say, but for the amount of extra effort coordinating with them, working your days run them, yep, yep. it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. No. No. It's like just it's literally just a wee thank you. It is, yeah. That's yeah. all it is. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice to look back on you know, for the boys and stuff oh, as aye, well. Aye. It'll Absolutely. be nice to be well, that, That's the thing, I wanna somebody had said, Oh, you need to go on the next series, go on it again. But like farming from year to year doesn't change enough for it to be as good as what it was the first time. No, you know, no. see mm -hmm. if they came back yeah. in two or three years' time when, see, Cameron and Finley were leaving the school yeah. to see yeah. if Cameron wanted to go on and yeah. they were still going to be an auctioneer Definitely. and Finley was coming home or whatever the scenarios were, that would be quite a good follow-up. Actually, I mean. this family life's been going so long now. That's a good angle for a show. Yeah. This family life revisited. Yeah. yeah. Like, like I, know, I watch Grand yeah. Designs all the time. We yeah, talk about Kevin yeah. yeah. And they, they'll sometimes do Grand... Yeah. I love those ones where they'll go back and... Mm -hmm. and see the updates. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, and and that I, is. I've got to say, I really enjoy it. I mean, I loved uh, Martin and Mel, the first uh, uh, series, and I did enjoy it when they went back to them. You know, it was good to catch up with them a couple of years down the line, but I agree with Heather, like, 
you need then, time for us. You do. You need time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, to come back to us this year would be pointless because your year it's calendar's the just exactly yeah. the same. And yeah. it worked. It worked with. I think Emma might be the only one that's done to. But hers worked great because she was going from that's Northumberland right. one back to another. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah. different story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. yeah. totally, totally, totally. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it was really good. But yeah, if, when it's the same. But I, I, there we go. This farm and life revisited. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that'd be good because I'm trying to think of big uh, Sandy. Uh, up in the Western Isles, the barrister. Yeah. 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 Like, I was up Gal in the Shants, and he's the man. Yeah, yeah, totally. What a bloody legend of a guy. Yeah. Like, he's just like, I, I don't know what age Sandy will be. He must be like s- near 70. 70 I would and say he's going down that. bits that I wouldn't even crawl down. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, we just, stick, just uh, walking just... down. <laughs> Honestly, the guy's really a machine and yep. fit, Like, unbelievable. And just such a part of the community up there. Just go back and you know f- see where these guys are now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's, yeah. Right. Yeah. that's a great. Idea. That, uh-huh. I mean, that is, is you know, four four years down the line when the boys are left to school, it would maybe be a good idea. But up until then, no, I don't mm-hmm. see. No, spring, spring shows, summer shows. Yeah, back ends, sheep sales. Yeah. Winter's winter. Do you know yeah. lambing? Mm-hmm. It just comes round. Yeah, yeah. and it was, it was good, but I mean that. I think it was the seventh of July. It was the last day they drove down the Redden, and it was good to. Are you happy it was over as well? Yeah. Good to see him go mm-hmm. day, like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, um, I think it's just more at things, you know, we maybe didn't think about it as much, but the boys did. You know, you'd be going to shows and things like that and they would be mic'd up all the time or and they could yeah. see their pals over yonder and, and they'd be thinking, oh, mm, I'm going kind to play. Of getting, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's saying about getting used to that because the day that we put the stuff up, yeah, was alarms out. Like I was, I forgot one mic'd up, but it was a complete disaster. Mm-hmm. All the hours run out and left all the alarms in the back, and I'm shouting and going. But it was because the camera crew were standing in front. Ah, yeah, yeah. When they let them uh, out, and I, I ran I past so to get the stuff up yours, <laughs> and I could hear John shouting, 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 and I'm thinking, ah. I'm mic'd up, and I'm going, so oh, I walked back beep, in. Beep, beep, beep. So I walked back in, and I just went like that to my jacket, and I went. <laughs> so at lunchtime they asked us, did that not go according to plan? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. no yeah. they heard it all the way <laughs> But you know what farming together is like? <laughs> like he's, he's, he's like to be brute, he's like almost hate each other for a moment and you're shouting and bawling, saying all the wildest things like swearing. Aye. And then two minutes later on a cup of tea and it's like uh, oh, well, that was heated. But, 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 or, or you turn around and say randomly and you don't realise you've said about the big floater. Uh, <laughs> The day of the club, that was and good. John's just a big floater. I, do. I was, I was sitting in the big chair that night, going, "Pardon, <laughs> you're not comfy." Don't you remember <laughs> saying? <laughs> and I did some though. slagging for a fortnight hour the here. I'm, su- I'm surprised my nickname's no change for beach. <laughs> 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 you could. I don't remember saying it. Obviously, just explained what everybody did, and well, John, he just was a big floater. But you can vouch for me, Tommy, that I have served my time at the back of that chair. Oh Christ! <laughs> <laughs> and I was taking out of my feeder. Hey, Peter, somebody's, somebody's got to keep an eye on their boys. Yeah, it's not easy keep it's not easy keeping their boys right, I tell you. Uh, and friend that's one of what a floater is, it's something that you definitely don't want to see in a hot tub. <laughs> definitely no, no, definitely no. not. You, you would need a wee net for that, I think. Um, but but the one thing that I do I, I do want to say about farming life though is um not once it is this farming life. Not once were we asked to redo or repeat anything. Yeah, not no, once. yeah, see, I've heard that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the they, film, they just film it as, you go. Yeah. as it was. Yeah, mm-hmm. they missed it. They missed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. you know. Mm-hmm. But the day, as you, I mean, I, heard, I think I heard you with Cammy and Rachel saying that the day changed things to suit their sell at times day because that day we put the Suffolk suit was a disaster. Mm-hmm. And then somehow they managed to get me to say when we were putting them through the gate that it was textbook. <laughs> and then that, they put that on the telly they didn't show the disaster but they just put them running up the side of the tunnel into the field and I went oh that was textbook yeah. but it was textbook running from the, me? the side of the tunnel <laughs> to the field Aye. again but they made it sound as if the whole thing the whole was, thing was a dog yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 and, and the reality is folk love seeing things going wrong because I've said this before it makes everybody feel better yeah ah. it's life human life well that was another thing that was another thing right and, and I was really disappointed they didn't they didn't show we had a we had a cesarean I want to show you uh, for the year of four, uh, they weren't there at the time, but we filmed it on the wee uh, diary cam mm-hmm. that they gave mm-hmm. us. It was brilliant. The vet, we got a great season, we got an absolute that was better than the beast. Ah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yow alarm, and then about four weeks after the kind of end of the Suffolk lambing was by, they moved into a different shed, and we got about a pneumonia in the mm. lambs, and I lost nine Jeez, Suffolk yeah. lambs at six weeks old. 
in the film. Quite that, unusual, that is it not? I it just, I, it was mm-hmm. just you know, it was mild weather and everything, and it just went through them and. We were, we were the vet and everyone we were jagging them with everyone on our son and you know what stopped it just a jag of terra mice and a blanket yeah through them yep. and that stopped it but by that time we would lost nine and the caesarean died there was another Gideon that had filmed me lambing that died and I, I brought them back one day and I says I was bringing the dead lamb out and I was like there you go this is reality and they filmed it mm-hmm. I said this is this is the lamb that you filmed the Caesar oh. and I says look it's deep mm-hmm. 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 And I explained to them that with the pneumonia and with nine dead, and I never come on the telly. Mm. And I was one that to come on the I telly. Like. Yeah, it's Aye. reality. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I was a sare week that oh, like, You know, these yeah. lambs are six weeks old. Yeah, that's hard. You think you're by the stage of any issues? Uh-huh. Like, Absolutely. You know, it's very unusual that. Mm-hmm. Very. We just... it, was a, it was a kind of freaky thing, and nothing would touch it. Yeah. Drax and rice floor. We tried everything. Yep. Nothing would touch it. Yep. Mm. And, and just, just every morning, the burn another one. Aye. Mm. It was just kind of way you were just. Yep. You could see terrible. them. You see them sitting there. Oh no! Go and get it up. Oh. But as I say, that was reality. But but well, like, they never yeah. showed that. You know that was. Mm. I'm saying they never refilmed anything, but they didn't show that. But yeah, they cut a lot out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty certain it, they could make another season of the stuff that didn't show. Yeah. Stuff that they mm-hmm. didn't mm-hmm. film with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. No. I'm just laughing. <laughs> You're getting lower and lower on that box. Yeah, it's sinking down. Yeah. <laughs> to, be, to, to be fair, that's maybe a good one at our time anyway. Um, and it's uh, on that note, I should say. Uh, no, it's been fast, fantastic to, to chat to you both. Obviously, I know you both very well. Yeah, thanks, thanks for very inviting us. For us. Yep. And, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to edit this and folk be able to hear us over all the laughing because it was <laughs> yeah. it was it was great banter. I'm looking forward to yeah. editing this one. So thanks for coming in, guys. No, hey, thank, boy, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks both. And we're back. Did you enjoy that? I did really enjoy it. Just a laugh. Isn't yeah, it? it was. They're funny. It was. It's just. It's just. It's just a laugh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Great. Been able to clarify a few points from the show, of course, as we did with Cammy and Rachel when they were on, and just good banter. Yeah. Like they are. The pair of them are entertainers. I know. You get people like that that are just naturally, and I think people will just naturally take to them. Yeah. You know, those sort of people that you just, you like, would gravitate towards, you, they're immediately, they're just likeable. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're absolute gems of Ayrshire. Yeah, I, they I, are. I say, I'm biased because, you know, I've, I've known them for a long time and they're one of the people, again, when I first started shearing, you know, that'd be one of the first jobs we went to. Really? And, and you know, they, they're, when you were a nobody to them, mm-hmm. so kind, as most farmers are with shears, but so kind, you always and then get an incredible feed. Like you remember those places. Yeah. See places where you get a really good feed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You remember them. And and that was one of them. And and Hetty is some baker. Let me tell you. She's great cook and a great baker. The cakes are always yeah. on point. So yeah, that is us again for this week. We'll be back on Thursday with a QA. Probably me just waffling most of the time and, and listening to the sound of my own voice because I, I seem to love it so much. Like someone said that, Cammy, you clearly just started the podcast so you can listen to yourself all day, <laughs> which is fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. We should involve, we, yeah, we, we need to get more balance in the thing. But well, so send your questions in for Iona, <laughs> not for me. Podcast at fedbyfarmers.co.uk. And thanks again to our sponsors, Crystalix and Animax. We appreciate having them on board. That's it for this week. I've been Cammy. I've been Iona. And we are both Fed, Fed by, by Farmers. farmers.